Yeah. It has to be one of the most interesting Maccas I've ever seen. You order and then they cook it upstairs and then send the food down in a conveyor belt. Interesting. Welcome to the vlog, day one here in Tokyo, and I'm already loving it, like, this city is absolutely crazy, like, everyone is so nice. I'm riding an electric bike right now, I sound like a kid. So, we're heading to Team Lab Borderless Digital Art Museum, so that's probably going to be the first stop of today, and then we're just going to ride these bikes around Tokyo and explore a bit. Initially, we were catching trains and stuff, so yeah try to find our way to the spot but we're getting confused because there were so many like lines that we had to change um, so as we walked out at one of the stations we found these electric bikes and honestly like if you're coming to Tokyo I recommend getting these bikes because it takes no effort to ride them and you can go wherever you want pretty quickly all right so the entrance to the museum is right there we were just about to go in but then everyone saw this Burgers are good. But I'm keen for some fried chicken. <laughs> Bro, everything here just looks amazing. Like everything in Japan is amazing. I'm a, I th to be honest, should I just move to Japan? Comment down below if you think I should move down to Japan. So the boys are just ordering some fried chicken. So the plan for the next few days is we're probably just going to explore Tokyo as much as we can. We're going to do the art museum, then we're going to do the Mario, riding the Mario Kart around the city. Friday we might go Mount Fuji. So we have to do as much of Tokyo as we can yeah. for the next two days. Yeah. Because Friday, Mount, the whole day is ridden off of Mount Fuji. Yeah. And then we go to Sapporo. Sapporo the next day, nine hour train. On Saturday, yeah. Um, for four days. And we're I... staying in a little lake house. And none of us can snowboard, so yeah. keen to yeah. see how that goes. Because I definitely cannot snowboard at all. <laughs> um, and it's minus 20 degrees there. We're coming... But it's better than the summer, TBH. I'm, I'm sick of... Like, yeah, we're coming from 40 thing. degrees yeah, yeah, yeah. in Sydney, yeah. so... And it's, it's, it's most of our first time actually seeing the snowfall. Yeah, so it should be cool. I'm keen to take some sick photos in the snow. And then we go to Kyoto and then we finish up in Osaka. Yeah. So this Japan series is going to be slightly different to the normal content I post on my channel. Um, still we'll be taking photos, still we'll be talking about photography related content and filmmaking content, but I'm here with all my close mates and Obviously, none of them are into photography and I just want to take a little bit of pressure off myself and just enjoy the moment rather than always thinking about creating content. Um, I just want to have a good time with my friends this trip. Yeah, these next two weeks, I'm super keen. Um, I will be creating content in each city we go to. It's going to be more travel style content. But yeah, like if you guys enjoy the content, then maybe consider liking and subscribing. <music> We just finished up at Team Lab Borderless, got some dope shots of all the digital art, and now we're heading to the Tokyo Tower. Hopefully, we can get there by sunset. So, I just Googled like Tokyo Tower photography locations. It said the World Trade Center is a pretty good um, photo spot uh, from the 40th floor. I think you have to pay like $10 or something, but we're biking there now. It's like five kilometers away. 
Hopefully Google doesn't let me down. Once we got to the main bridge, they had security and they were like, um, you have to push your bikes across the bridge. And it's going to probably take 20, 25 minutes to get to the other side of the city. But have a look at this view. How's your day today? Really good so far. Pretty tired, but Tokyo is better than Sydney, mate. Way better. So nice. <laughs> I recommend it for anyone watching out there. <laughs> come to Tokyo. Honestly, come to Tokyo, 100%. So we just finished up at the World Trade Center, taking photos of the Tokyo Tower. And to be honest, all of us are so tired right now because we've been riding those bikes around the whole day. But it was so fun. So we're going to go get some dinner now. And then, I don't know, might go out for a drink or something. We'll see what happens, but right now all of us just want to eat and there's too many restaurants to choose from, so... What is going on guys? Hope you're having an awesome day today. Welcome to day two of the Tokyo vlog. We actually ended up sleeping in this morning because we had a big one last night. The nightlife in Tokyo is actually amazing. So yeah, we had a pretty big night. I only went to sleep at like 6 a.m. in the morning. So it's been a pretty slow start to day two. But now we're at the famous Shibuya crossing. And the amount of people here is actually crazy. Like what? I'm just gonna go take some photos. Maybe head to the Starbucks because apparently you can get a nice view from the top down. And then we've got Mario Kart booked after this. So that should be sick. Um, and then after Mario Kart, might head to Shinjuku and do some night photography. But keen to take you guys along. It's going to be an action-packed day and I'm super excited. So we just finished up at Shibuya Crossing and now we need to go to the Mario Kart place which is apparently 45 minutes from here and it's already like 4.15 our booking's at 4.45 so I don't know if we'll get there on time hopefully we can <laughs> Konnichiwa Konnichiwa Do you know the address? Yes This spot, location can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Mario Kart shop. Mario, yeah. So we made it just in time. Luckily, we didn't miss out. I have no idea how to work with things, but I didn't really pay attention to the um, introductory video because I was stressed about my day for blah blah blah. But anyways, we're gonna head off now. Sun, the sun has just set, so it's gonna be a night. It's gonna be a night drive. Here we go. <laughs>
that was probably the funnest thing I've ever done in my life. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. And we got to see parts of Tokyo that I didn't even know about. And like, it was so lively and so many lights and so many colors. Like, it's actually crazy how big this place is. I don't even have words to explain how fun that was. If you guys are in Tokyo, 100% do Mario Kart. It's absolutely insane. Oh guys, we're out here, here in uh, Shinjuku. What do you think about Mario Kart? Amazing, crazy. What do you think about Mario Kart? Like, what a way to see the city. Mario Kart. I just want to go to all the cities now and just do Mario Kart there. Instead of like taking the bike around and hurting my fucking ass all day. Did you actually do that? With Far Cry Kyoto. Yeah. Hire for three hours, see the city. Best way to like, Yeah, 100%. Unique. No one else would ever have it. Does anyone else do this? No. Surely not. I think so. Should, definitely should be illegal. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we're really tired. We're going to go home. Yeah, well, check <laughs> it out, guys. Stay tuned. I think YouTubers, they're gonna be YouTubers soon. Stay uh, tuned for join, Santosh Krishnan's join, YouTube channel and Mantha Singh's YouTube channel. Nah, join channel. Santosh Singh. Please like and, like and subscribe down below. Yeah, I you fucked up. Like and with that fucking... Woo! Ah, goodness. We're like really unfit, uh, as you can see, but this is really steep. <laughs> no matter how many photos you take here, it will never do justice. Like, every single person has to experience this in real life. This is actually insane. Thank you.